was your next act, which is the Miss, where is it? Hey, is it here? I was hanging in the corner. Mr. James Gaston, give you a big round of applause. <laughs> Alright? Yeah. Uh, I'm so glad the man you got finding Hitler on Tinder because it reminds me of a TV episode I once saw. Basically, the premise is you get a million pounds, but you've got to date Hitler once a year. Sorry, once a month for a whole year. Just by round of applause, who would actually take that money? Yeah, I fucking know that. So, yeah, hi, my name is James, and as you can tell from the accent, I'm not from Leeds. I'm from Middlesbrough. Fucking hell, I came to Leeds and Middlesbrough didn't get booed. That's a first. <laughs> um, like most standard white single comedians, I'm just giving it away. I'm single. <laughs> um, I'm single by choice. I mean, it wasn't my choice. She broke up with me, but fuck it. <laughs> yeah, so single by choice. Um, I've been single so long now that my Facebook page literally just says James is single, but in a relationship with Pornhub. <laughs> it's really complicated. <laughs> my right hand likes it a lot, though. <laughs> the, th the thing about Pornhub por por is, like, when you're, when you're first single, like, you're quite choosy with your um, categories. Like, we think, well, yeah, fuck it, I'll, I'll watch a bit of amateur webcam this time. Yeah, fuck it, I'm going to watch some Anna Nicole Smith. You know, before the overdose. <laughs> <laughs> but the longer you're single, like, you start getting really, really creative in your search bar. Literally to the point it just says, woman screams in warehouse. <laughs> So anyway, I recently received an email from Pornhub telling me that they've uh, blocked my account because of uh, suspicious activity in my search engine. So I've taken to what to winding up a human centipede instead. <laughs> Purely because the acting quality is literally about the same, except in the human centipede, I believe the screen's a hell of a lot more. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm single, uh, I've been on Tinder, yay! The best thing about Tinder, the reason one, because I'm from Middlesbrough, when you click through hit Tinder, it's like an episode of Jeremy Kyle that didn't get aired. But no, uh, I, I, I turned up tonight and I thought, fuck it, I'll have a bit of a, bit of a scroll, see, see, kind of see what's about there. You know, when, you know when you see something and it just catches your eye and you're absolutely amazed by it? I saw this one profile, I hope it's nobody here tonight because I'm just about to call you out. <laughs> and basically the bio says, I am not after a boyfriend. I just want someone to look after my kids so I can go out and get shagged on a Friday. <laughs> well done, Leeds. Well done. <laughs> Well, I do have some words of advice. Is there any guys in relationships here tonight? Yeah. <laughs> One of the enthusiastic guys. <laughs> Boss. Uh, I'll just leave you with. Well, I'm not going to leave you because I want to be up here in like three seconds. And basically, my advice to you guys is women really love it when you sweep them off the feet. Am I right, ladies? It's just when you try and throw me in the back of a car with a string, but they kind of hate it. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, also, like, I, I kind of think, like, I'm quite a, a nice romantic guy, so, like, if I offer to wash your back when you're in the shower, like, just, if it's a simple yes or no question, just, like, stop asking me who I am. <laughs> How I got in. <laughs> For the love of God, please stop screaming and threatening to call the police. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to the uh, sweepers and ladies off the seat. Just remember when they were restrained. <laughs> Just remember, silence is golden, but duct tape is silver and it's a good second and it muffles the screams. <laughs>
<laughs> Good thing this is like our almost book list. Yeah, um, when it comes to dating, like, I'm quite a ner nervous person. Like, even up here, I'm fa fairly nervous. I think you can. I'm not shaking for the sake of it, but yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, but when I'm trying to like date someone, I think like in, in my head, in my head, I'm like dead smooth, and I'm just like, yeah, hey, what's up? We should do this sometime. <laughs> and all like the lady ever seems to see is like this hunched over colonist creature just looking at me, going, the saddest part is I have no idea how I learned to do that. Like, just, that that's just natural. <laughs> and the creepier part about that being able to do that voice is I'm, I went on a date once and this girl had asked me if like, I could do any party tricks and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, yeah. I, I don't know why the fuck I thought this was like going to be a good idea. And I went, oh yeah, I can, I can, I can sound with it, like gone from Lord of the Rings. So she asked me to do it. So I did literally that bit. Plus, I stop it. And she literally looked at me square in the eyes and went, oh my god, that made me so wet right now. <laughs> I was like, yeah, fuck this, I ran. <laughs> I was like, I don't need that kind in my, in my life. But me, I always seem to date women like that. Like, you're like the cra crazy kind, where it's like, is she gonna hug me, is she gonna stab me? It's like a room, it's like a room, that, and like, what's gonna happen? Ooh, is it gonna be good, or is it gonna be a trip to AJ? Um... But now, uh, I, I kind of noticed over a couple of years as well that I generally do have a type. Like, I never thought I had a type, but apparently it turns out I do. It's merely pulse and consent. <laughs> no, uh, object, object, generally speaking, I like my women the same way that I like my syrup. Sticky and Canadian. But I also like my women the same way I like my laptop. On my lap, turned on, I was free. Thank you for that, we'll be a very slap grill. Just a daft, daft little one, you've probably heard this before, but what, what's how it vibrates and makes women scream? A chainsaw. <laughs> um, uh, another thing that I've noticed as well, when did like. Uh, when, when did doggy style start becoming like the Grand National? You, you know, you know, like, well not like so much like the Grand National, but like horse racing, because you know, like, she's on all fours, you're down there, you pull in, you're kicking her in the ass. I literally know some couples that could actually win the National just in that position. Okay, that didn't work. Like, with the point of hair thing as well, it's like, do you, do you remember when, like, how many people here that sort of like grew up in the 90s and stuff? Because like, not faces, everyone at home. But like, do you remember when you were at school and like, especially for the ladies, you were always told, oh, if there's a guy pulling your hair, it means you like her, it means you like her and stuff. And women used to find it really bad. And now it's the only way you can make them come. <laughs> If you wouldn't get home, Graham. But, uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm almost out because I didn't think I was actually going to work through this fast. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, just remember, just, 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 this goes to everybody in the camera of your boy, girl, from uh, <laughs> And Just remember, it doesn't take a lot of effort to show someone that you really care for them. I mean, the police call it indecent exposure, but that's a minor technicality. <laughs> and because I've been quite rude and disgusted all night, I will definitely leave you with this one. What can you say both during sex and at a family dinner? Fucking hell, mum. This is really dry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been James Gaston, thank you very much. Thanks, that's the lady. That's a little bit of a round of applause.